Okay, and another in the series of no before you ride, um, no before you go I should say, is, um, is security for your motorbike and for yourself really. Um, so before you go, there's a couple of things you should do. Um, number one, I would, I would suggest calling your credit card company and telling them you've got your credit and debit cards, uh, you lost them all. And that way you'll have, you'll have a, a whole set of credit cards and debit cards that are still current but are not, won't work. And you'll get a whole new set. And then what you want to do is have a separate wallet. I've got a wallet in my tank bag. Um, it's a spare wallet. I have enough cash that, on it that makes people happy. I've got an old driver's license in it and stuff like that. And all these de debit and credit cards, which are still current but won't work. So if I ever get held up, that's the wallet I give them. Um, so they can get my, they can get my, um, they can get like four, about 40 US dollars in cash. Um, you choose what you want. You don't want to get them angry. You want them to, if, it, if you're going to get held up, and look, it's pretty, a pretty remote chance it's going to happen. But if something does happen, you give them that. It's enough money for them to just say, oh, fuck it, let's go. That's $40. $40 is a month's wages for some people. Um, not for criminals, though, I wouldn't imagine. But, um, so that's your, uh, and personal security, it's just be smart, you know. Riding during the day, like I went through a ride through all the uh, sort of uh, the really poor areas during the day. Look at all these friggin' dogs. How many can I get? Nah. You'd think they'd have to, that, that number will be whittled down after a while. Look at this friggin' thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just be smart. Like, don't go, don't go into the, the, the rougher sort of areas at night. Um, you'll find that police are absolutely everywhere. Um, in all these countries, especially in the tourist areas, their security is really good. But be smart, you know. Um, I, uh, with with cash, like in a lot of countries, you've got to carry a lot with you because it's you know, freaking so much as uh, you know, fifty thousand pesos is uh, what fifteen dollars. Um, so you end up having a, a huge wash, wad of cash in some countries that is of very little value, but try to keep all the smaller notes on the outside if you're going to carry it around with you. Um, always think about where you're going to place on your bike and yourself and your bags. If you're going to place some extra US dollars just for emergencies. Uh, some people say you should carry a thousand, I don't, you know, I, I think that's a bit overboard. Um, but you're, you're going to struggle to get US dollars in a lot of countries once you get to Central America if you need them, you need US dollars. Um, there's a couple of countries like Belize where they actually trade in the US dollar. That's a good way to stock back up on US dollars again. Um, so carry just what you need with you, leaving your hotel or, or whatever safe. Now if you're staying in hostels, you know, you really want to be able to pack, you really want to have a go bag for packing all your, look at that, magnificent views. The car up my ass now as I'm talking. Um, yeah, so you really want to you really want to be clever about how you store stuff. I mean, every single person I've spoken to has had something nicked from a from a um, hostel. You know, something nicked or something broken. So just be uh, just be vigilant uh, with with all that sort of stuff. Make sure that on your person all the time is your passport and your wallet. Ne never leave that, those sort of things in, in, in a bag, in a hotel room, uh, hostel room. Hotel rooms are probably a bit safer. Um, and just make sure too that when you're riding, like I've got my, in my backpack, I've got my passport and I've got it in a, a waterproof bag. You just always want to protect it because you just never know what shit's going to happen. And I've, I had paperwork that was copies outside of a plastic bag 
and uh, some dickhead spilt something at a restaurant. They spilt their drink, or uh, well, my wait waiter spilt my drink, and um, and it went off the or a drink off, off the table into my bag and wet all this. And I had the, that part of the bag open on the seat next to it. Uh, yeah. So you just always got to be vigilant uh, with that. Um, so I suggest the, the fake wallet. Always carrying your stuff on you wherever you, wherever you go. Um, if you want to have a little fanny pack or something like that, that's fine. Um, I've got a, I've got it inside of, inside my clothing. These climb things have uh, internal pockets, um, and uh, don't carry heaps of cash around with you. Just take what you need. You, your ATMs are pretty much everywhere. Some of them won't work, but you just got to find one that works and stick to that one. Um, and as far as bike security goes. Um, I found a few hostels I stayed at, they'll let you park it anywhere. You can take it inside, whatever, you just got to push for it. Um, when you're camping, I mean I've got a tent that my bike goes inside of, so I'm fine with that. Um, camping, you basically want to put, put, put your gear off your bike in your, inside your tent. You know, you could be sleeping all night and all of a sudden somebody just comes up to your bike and silently sticks to it. Um, pinch of stuff. Now, I've heard stories of people where the bike had a traffic light, someone just came up and cut the cables and just quickly took a bag off the bike. Uh, that's pretty brave, and I doubt that would happen very often. Um, and as far as locking your bike lock, I've got a, I've got a, uh, a brake lock, um, a nice one, and, and there's also, uh, and I've also got a, um, like a cable lock. Uh, so it's always good to, to lock your bike up wherever you can. I'm staying in it, you know, I always look for hotels or hostels where I can actually have parking or I push, I push the hostel to allow me to uh, park the car in, bike inside or at least right out the front where, you know, a lot of these hostels have 24 hour desks so as long as it's in the view of somebody and you just make sure you, you cover it up. Now it's a pain in the ass having a cover but it's well worth it, you know. Um, it's well worth having a cover. Uh, for your bike. Try to get the lightest one you can possibly get, maybe get a compression bag for it. Um, and uh, you should be should be fine, but, but most of the hotels I, uh, I stay in, I, um, I get, I, uh, I, you know, I always make sure I get parking. Um, yeah, so that's it for uh, security. It's a little bit longer one. I probably blabbed on a bit too much, but uh, that's that's uh, all for security.